Okay. Just so that there's more room so we can travel for that ending part. Yeah, okay, I'll just say like to this line. Yeah. Okay, uh, and then And then seven. Uh, uh, bow. Did we spread out there? I think we did. I think oh, we did yeah. Maybe we should. This way. Two, um. We had five. Two, five, five, five. Yeah, so I'll just go right here. And we face the office now. Are we going? Oh, 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 oh. Being a partridge in a pan to me. Let me ride it. Let me ride it. Oh, got <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Floof! Yeah, I wish that Floof was my dog, but he ain't, but he ain't. I ain't got him. Nah, it's Kirsty. Oh, it's Ben. Hey! Oh, I wish I had one. Hey! Oh, no, I'm playing. Oh, I don't want no dog. She does. <laughs> she does. Okay, let's get a dog. No! <laughs> shows left. This is the third to last show that we're about to do in like half an hour. Somebody at, at VIP actually was like, what song do you feel brings you peace out of your repertoire? And I, and I said, Evergreen. It's been Evergreen for me, especially on this tour. Just every time we sing it, I just feel it so much. And it's such a beautiful song. To say. It's therapeutic for me to sing to because it's so pleasing to my ear. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, the lyrics really resonate with me so much. They make me emotional and they make me feel a lot of gratitude for um, for my mother and how much of a warrior she was growing up. It's about the love that mothers have and how they make everything so special. But Evergreen has been more than just the song within this year because it's been so special to come together after such a long year of being apart and record this album. It was one of the first times that we were all able to come in the studio together and really collaborate and sing each song with each other. And Coming out of the pandemic, we hadn't sung together in a long time. We got together in the studio. We sang and we brainstormed and we made music and magic together and it was such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Normally, you know, we, especially in the last year within the pandemic, we go in and we do everything separately so it's like perfect and spot on, but there's something so magical about doing it in the studio and having that live organic vibe about it. It's just, it, it, it's that live beautiful quality that you want to see at shows and then doing the tour, doing Evergreen the tour has been so amazing. It's been my favorite tour to date and to work so hard and to have this amazing crew that's worked so hard and to thankfully get no COVID cases and be able to do the whole tour. Now I'm just kind of thinking about all the things that I'm grateful for on this tour and how I'm grateful for the band for just being so amazing and working so hard. For the people that we work with on our crew who've sacrificed their time with their families, who have risked their safety. Especially in a time like this where you know, we don't know if we're going to get COVID on, on, the, on the road. And that's a real serious thing that we have to think about. So we thank them for what they've done. You know, we're also trying to do the same where we've all been really quarantined on this tour, staying inside our rooms, staying inside hotels, not going out to dinners, not really seeing anybody. For them to be able to sacrifice what they have, we're just eternally grateful, you know, and you hear all about all the shows on Broadway and all these other tours and things that people are getting COVID and we are almost there, we're almost at the end and um, we haven't done that and it takes a lot of sacrifice and a lot of love and a lot of, um, a lot of work from all our crew and all our people. But the fact that we've been able to do this and for fans to actually come, like none of y'all had to come to this tour. Obviously it's, it's a time where, you know, we want to think about everybody's safety, but the fact that you all would come and still support what we're doing, it just makes us want to give so much more to you all when we go on stage. It's just been really amazing and it's been so fun and it's been our biggest Christmas tour ever and that's been rocking because 11,000 people at a Christmas show, I mean, turn up, turn up Christmas. I love that. <laughs> I'm so grateful and so overwhelmed at how incredible this whole album era has been. And it's just the word evergreen is such a perfect term for it because evergreen means forever, you know? And that's what it feels like Pentatonix is, is something that's lasting forever because after 10 years, I do think we're stronger, closer, and happier than we've ever been. Oh, mother's love is evergreen.